High Haven was built on the site of the former Downham Union House and was opened in 1969. It is a modern residential home for some 61 elderly people. This film has been made to record and to show you something of the activities during a day at High Haven. As you can see, the building is ideally placed fronting onto a reasonably busy road and is within walking distance of the town. Here is Mrs. Lee and Mr. Lee, who with the help of their staff maintain a secure and happy home for the people in their care. One of the many services which the home provides is the daycare given to people who are still able to live in their own homes with the help of relatives and the domiciliary services. Mrs. Cross and Mr. Langley arriving to spend the day with friends made in the home and to make use of the facilities which are available to them. Candy, one of the pets. Lunch in preparation. It is sometimes quite interesting to study expressions on the faces of people as they sit in their chairs. Mrs. Freeman at 92 has still a great sense of humour. Miss Giddings loves her window seat. A view of one end of a sitting room and of the colour television set given to the home by the officers and men of RAF Marham. Some of the more fit residents setting the tables for lunch. These ladies like to feel they can still be of use. Many of the old people require regular drugs which need to be carefully administered. Mrs. Mays is having her hair permed by Susan of Canita's the Hairdressers who come every fortnight. The lift to the first floor is a necessity. Mrs. Rutterford, Deputy Matron, demonstrating a hydraulic lifting device, a much-used item of equipment which was purchased by contributions from local societies. This takes the backache out of lifting and is much more comfortable for the person being lifted. It is used not only for lifting in and out of bed, but is a great help when bathing the handicapped and the heavy. Mrs. Day being taken for a ride.
It takes about 20 minutes to get the residents seated for a meal. Some require assistance and others come under their own steam. Many of these characters are well known locally. Mrs. Cornwall arriving to spend the afternoon with her mother. Candid camera shots of residents chatting. Mr. Kemp with weather-worn Fenland features telling the tales of his gardening exploits. The sun-catching patio is a favorite sitting out area and even in October is still warm enough for the old people to enjoy a short time in the sun. Mr. Langley awaits his taxi home as a day at High Haven comes to an end.